Alrighty guys, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys a proof of concept that the controls on the machines do work. So, the reason I'm making this video is because recently I've been getting a whole pile of people uh, sending me messages and stuff on Facebook and my inbox saying, Oh, you're forcing us to use joysticks and there's no other way to play. Okay, no. You don't have to get joysticks. You can use a controller, you can use your keyboard and mouse if that's what you want to do. I highly, highly, highly recommend if you want a good experience um, that you use joysticks because joysticks are amazing and it's more realistic. But I'm not by any means forcing anyone to do it. You can use whatever controls you want. And I think there was a little bit of confusion with the last joystick video that went out. So I've gone ahead now and I'm going to show you guys. So I went into the game. I deleted my input binding so that I'm starting from scratch just like all of you when you when you fire up and begin a new game. So as I recommended, everybody watch the install video, everybody watch the control setup guide. Now, if you're just coming out of the control setup guide, you have your mods installed, everything's in here, looking good, great. So what I want to show you guys today is yes, you can set the controls for something besides joysticks. Beside me, I have an Xbox One controller plugged in, which is absolute blasphemy to me because I've never used one for this game. But all I want to do is proof of concept, show you guys that you can use it and how to start setting up your controls. And maybe a few quirky things that you may have not known. So, for instance, I have the, uh, the Cat 320 sitting here, so we're going to use this as an example. Now, um... I'm going to start with keyboard because I've had a lot of people say, FDR, there's no way to use keyboard controls. There's no way to use mouse controls. It's impossible. Um, the way you have it set up, you just ruined it. Well, no, you just you have to set the controls just like the video said. So when you go into the game, start it up, hit escape. Now you're going to want to go to this panel up at the top just like we showed on the control panel video. It's got the three, or the three little squares and the cog at the top there. Okay, so when you come here... It'll bring you to this page right here. Now, right now, this section is highlighted that says keyboard controls. So these are your keyboard controls. So as long as you're under this, you're only going to be working with your mouse and your keyboard. If you want to switch to gamepad controls, you have to hit this little gamepad button. And then this side highlights, and then you can set up a gamepad. So we're going to go back. So when you open it up, it's automatically going to be on keyboard controls every time. So here we are. We're on the keyboard controls. You're saying... Oh, I installed all your mods and none of them work. Well, if you watched the last video when I said there was a big change in the controls, we have now added our own input bindings. Now, I'm not going to go over every single input binding and everything. I'm just going to show you what it is. If you guys want the full version of what everything does, you got to go watch that original control video because that video is the one that shows what every single button does and every component and how I have them set. Um, but... Like I said, go watch that video if you want to know what each one does. I'm just showing you that it is possible to set controls and how to do it. So, um, from this list, some things are automatically set by Giants by default. So, you can see some things in here like entering the vehicle is E, crouching. These are all buttons on your regular keyboard. Now, when you've installed the most recent FDR logging mods, it, it installed its own set of controls because they're separate from the game. So if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, we'll hit the FDR stuff. So it says 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, blah, 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 blah. FDR, swing cab right, swing crab, cab left, boom up. These are the controls for the machines, and you have to set them in order to play with the machines. Now, it's not a big deal to set them. It's very easy. It's up to you to figure out what you want to set them to, uh, which is why I have that control video, which I'm probably going to pin to this video just in the comments so you guys know where to go to watch that video but if you want to set a control in here so you can set key one key two or mouse so for instance if i want the cab to swing left and right you can click on this and set it to a keyboard command we'll do d we're going to go cab left we'll go a so let's save okay so now when i hit a it turns the cab left when i hit d it turns the cab right okay very straightforward. Now we can set those to whatever we want as long as it's not a pre-bound key by Giants. So if they have a specialized thing like their cameras, anything weird like that, it might be overriding it and you'd have to go find where it is in the list to get rid of it. But point being is under any of these keys, you can set me whatever. If I wanted to hit H and J on my keyboard or maybe Control H, let's try that. I have no idea if that'll work. So if I hit Control H, now my cab turns to the right. 
Like, again, the point of this whole thing is to show you, yes, you can set whatever key to whatever command you want, and if you don't know what these commands do, go watch the control video where I explain every single one of them. Um, now, people are saying the mouse doesn't work. I can't get the mouse to work. I can't make the mouse turn things. It's broken. Well, same difference. So, if I set this to a free look with my mouse, so if I click and I move my mouse to the left, now it's saying it's set to this. But if I go out here... Oops, sorry. Uh, so save this. If I go out here and I look, the cab is not turning because it's already preset to the camera. So just to have your mouse move around, you can't have uh, it set like that. You have to have a special button. So if you click to bind it, you can press left click and then move the cab or move the mouse to the left. And it'll say left and then mouse to the left. So... Now, if I want to move my machine, if I left click and I move my mouse right and left, now it actually moves the machine. All right? So you can do that. You can do, you know, you could do middle mouse down if you wanted. I don't know why you do that, but whatever. And then when I move middle mouse, hold down middle mouse and move the mouse up and down, it moves the cab. Point being is, again, you can set keyboard controls. You just have to make sure you're under keyboard controls and you go down to the FDR stuff and you set it. You have to set it yourself. Now, again, I have no advice to what to set that to because I do not use mouse and keyboard uh, for operating. I also do not use an Xbox controller for operating. I'm just showing you guys the endless possibilities are there and you can set it to whatever you want. Okay? So now... Uh, we're going to switch over to setting up the Xbox controller. And again, I'm just going to show you how to do it. So from this menu, like I said, we're still on keyboard controls. So we want to make sure that we go down to this down here where it says gamepad and we click gamepad. So now this section up here is highlighted and it says gamepad controls. So under here, it automatically binds most of the in-game stuff because Giants automatically has a whole bunch of stuff that binds. My machines do not automatically bind. You have to actually go set them. And the reason for this is because I want people to know what they're setting in their controls and I want people to actually set it to something they want it to be. If I have it automatically fill out, it's just going to be this mess of buttons and you guys will probably have problems with operating the machines. So go all the way down to the bottom and we want to find our first FDR... Uh, swing cab. So let's go swing cab right. So like I said, you have to have an action key to actually set this. So I'm going to use left trigger. So I'm going to click. First you want to be under gamepad. Make sure it's highlighted. Click here under swing cab. I'm going to press a trigger button. See how it even says trigger a button, press the desired direction. So if I want that to spin to the right, let's go left trigger and then we'll push right on the pad. Okay, so now we're going to save that. So now in order to do that, we have to hold down the left trigger and push in a direction. And it automatically assigns it to the opposite direction as well, so it spins. But anyway, the point being is you can set your controls to whatever you want, and it is possible to set them. You just have to know how to get into the proper menu to actually set it up. Um, and I just wanted to show that. So anybody who's having uh, troubles getting control set up, you know, use this video, go back, watch, see how I did it. Make sure that you're selecting the correct section to set your controls up. So if you're using an Xbox controller or joysticks, make sure you're under the gamepad controls. Um, if you're trying to do keyboard and mouse, make sure you're under the keyboard controls. Uh, other than that, you guys can set them to whatever you want. You do not have to use joysticks. You can use gamepads. You can use alternate controllers. You can do whatever you want. All right, I just wanted to get that out there, so hopefully everybody can uh, figure it out. All right, we'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.